This is Calabucus for Thick Feature Extra. Another thing that bugs me about the internet is sales. Sales, 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 sales. What do you think your spam folder is full of? Spam. Spam messages. Messages that have nothing to do with you, but somebody somewhere out there is trying to sell something to you and they're not targeting them to you. They're just splitting them out there. And if you ask me, why would they still be spamming if it's not working? Somebody must be clicking on those damn spam messages. But if you think about it, 90% of the internet, 90%, more than likely 90% of the internet is sales messages. It's company A trying to sell person B a thing. It's a product, it's a service, it's a this or a that, and blah, 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 blah. We are bombarded, bombarded with thousands of sales messages every day. Thousands and thousands and thousands of sales messages every day. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Whether it's in an email newsletter or it's in Facebook or in Twitter or wherever you are, when it, if you are on the internet, but even when you're on the internet, when you're on listening to the radio, when you're reading a newspaper, when you're looking at a magazine, when you're driving along the road and see a billboard, we are inundated with sales messages every single day, thousands upon thousands of them. And we get annoyed. In fact, we've, we've gotten to the point where we, we, we've just tuned these things out. What is it called? Banner blindness? I, I remember that term where you know, we've tuned these things out. It's an ad, it's an ad, it's an ad. We're just gonna go past it. So think about all the money all the millions and millions of dollars that these poor businesses have sunk into these advert ads that are being presented to somebody who doesn't necessarily want what's being presented. Right? So all these ads are being targeted to people who don't really want what's being presented. Now, some might argue if you were real, if you thought that the the you know Google, Facebooks, Netflixes, or Google, Facebooks, Apples of the world, anybody who advertises, if you thought they were evil, you might think that they're purposely not targeting these exactly, because if they were targeting them exactly, then there'd be a better chance of the sale being made. But if you think about it, if there was some inadequacies in the matching algorithm, if the matching algorithm wasn't 100% accurate, then you could still sell a ton of advertising, but not sell anything. Hmm, makes you want to think, huh? Google's don't be evil, but I digress. So let's assume, let's assume for the sake of argument that these companies really, really, really are interested in connecting the buyer with the seller. That they really, really want the seller to sell to the right buyer. Well, if you ask me, they have enough information right now to be able to create a supremely targeted ad, which hits the right buyer at the exact moment with the exact offer that that person needs and doesn't need to be peppered. That person doesn't need to be peppered with a million sales messages. Those pe that peppering a million sales messages is just padding Google's bank account. But there is a way and that's where sales needs to go. Sales needs to immaculately match supply and demand. When I need this X thing, these systems need to match me with the exact thing that I'm looking for. But like I said, there's too much money riding on the mismatch of these things. So that is how we fix sales. We fix sales by building systems that perfectly match the buyer and the seller at the exact same time. Now I've talked about people, talked about this with a number of people, and they say my theory is bunk, that there's no possible way we can do that. It's not possible because the buyer never really knows what they want. Is that true? Is that true? Would you say that the reason why Facebook and Google and all these systems, all these feeds that are sort of sucking you in and giving you that dopamine hit day in, day out, aren't giving you exactly what you want to keep you hooked on the service. It's like a drug. It's like a drug. Don't tell me that they don't already know exactly what triggers you. They know exactly what triggers you, which leads me to believe that they can make that exact determination of what product and service you need in that moment. But maybe they're unwilling to do so.
So that's how we need to fix sales. We need to fix sales by making that immaculate connection between the buyer and the seller. I don't know if Google and Facebook and these companies will be able to do it. Maybe if you're an enterprising startup founder, you might be able to think about that. But yeah, we need something better than the millions and millions and millions and millions of untargeted sales messages that are flying around the internet today. I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of seeing them.